Monday, it's time for the race report show. Spain and the city of Girona, which each year hosts the European Sea Otter Show. Some of the big hitters of the cross country world were there and they lined up the Copa Catalana XEO Cat 1 UCI race on a six kilometer loop, which wound its way around the site. Not too technical with a few simple obstacles, lots of fat grassy turns and a few short punchy climbs. Catriel Soto of MMR factory racing team set the pace early on, but it wasn't long before Sam Gaze came to the front and then started to pull away. No one could keep with his pace and he took a convincing win by four seconds, which left Daniel McConnell in second and David Vallejo in third place. Over to a wetter south of Dortmund in Germany where the Avus Ruhr Bike Festival took place. The main event of the weekend was the under 23 XCO. A varied course on grass, through woods with some technical descents and longer punchy climbs. The riders sprinted off the line together but were quickly whittled down to a select few of five and then down to two. Ben Zwierhoff of Bergamont Racing Team and David Nordman of CST Sand American Kushtart battled each other up and down through the thick woodland, both looking strong and holding a good pace. In the end, David Nordman had the speed and the skills to pull away and got a convincing win. Ben was caught and ended up in fifth, with Wolfram Kirschart taking second and Kevin Punhusen in third. This guy was stoked. In the women's, the group again quickly splintered into a group of four, then down to three, then down to one, as Annick van Alpen of Kleur Opmat rode away strong to take a huge win of over one minute. Varda Denmark for the MTB Liga. CST Sand American Eagle rider Sebastian Feeney Carstensen took top honours in a tight battle with the former World Cyclocross and Junior XC champion Simon Andreessen riding for specialised racing. Niels Beck Rasmussen just under a minute back in third place. In the women, the top three were Camilla Knudsen, Anne Dorthe Leesburg, and Yanni Sprangsberg. Now, one week on from Fort William, the downhill World Cup circus rolled on to Leo Gang, Austria. And could Tani Seagrave continue her strong form and win back to back races? Well, she qualified fastest, but unfortunately ended up going out of the tape and got disqualified in the final. Bad luck, and she gives up some points in the championship chase almost halfway into the season. Rachel Atherton returned to winning ways just half a second ahead of Miriam Nicole. It turns out Aaron Gwynn dislocated his thumb last weekend at Fort William and was suffering this week in practice but felt much fitter just in time for race day. He put in a stormer and sat in the hot seat to watch rider after rider not manage to challenge. Laurie Greenland had a strong ride to finish in third place, his best World Cup ride ever, with Troy Brosnan in fourth and Loris Verger in fifth. Now the fastest qualifier two weekends in a row, could Lucas Shaw shrug off that bad luck of last week's puncture? Well, no, he crashed in a tricky rock section and his first World Cup win will have to wait a little bit longer, but surely it's on its way. Amri Pirion took an amazing win to beat Aaron Gwynn. His second win in a row for the young, talented Frenchman that seems to have a permanent smile on his face. But he has a month to be happy and take in his rise to the top of World Cup racing before the circus heads to Val de Sol in Italy. Over to the States now, to the town of Missoula in Western Montana for the Missoula XC UCI HC Cat Race. Evelyn Dong was dominant in the UCI women's race with a win of over two and a half minutes over the stands pivot rider Sofia Gomez Villafane. Alexis Scada another 40 seconds back in third. The men's race was won by Specialized Racing's Howard Grotz, 46 seconds ahead of Richard Cypress Gorey for Roller, and Giant Factory off-road team's Cole Payton came in third. And now to Brazil for the CIMTB Copa International XCO. Set in the incredible town of Ouro Preto, which is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Hundreds of spectators lined the dry, dusty and technical course, which first wound its way out of the town and into the surrounding countryside, where the riders were greeted by loose, off-camber sections, rock drops and rock gardens. In the end, it was Henrik Avancini of Canada Factory Racing that took the win by 10 seconds. In the women's, Laura Valentina Abril of Seleccione Colombia MTB, with the biggest winning margin of this week at almost two minutes. Have you ever seen a 10-person podium? For another racing video, Martin went around the pits at Fort William asking the pros, are World Cup downhill tracks getting too easy? So click over there for that one. Give us a thumbs up if you like mountain bike racing and hit that sub button.